Okay, good evening and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube Just Outfit. Today we're doing Musakas Nazir Dachlam at number 30. Um, unfortunately, once a week I don't have a place to give a shear, so I give it in the base vendors because the room I usually use, they're in the middle of cleaning now on a Wednesday afternoon. So let's get started. The top 10 on the base on the bottom. I'll try to speak loud, try to ignore the background noise. Um, <coughs> We had a story yesterday about someone named Rabbi Hanina and Rabbi Gamliel um, asked him whether he was a Godol or not and he said, if I wasn't a Godol, then I'll become a Nazir because of my father, a father has the ability to accept Nazirs for his son. And if I am a Godol and the father doesn't have the Rishos over me, doesn't have the rights to make me a Nazir, then I'll be a Nazir for myself. So the Gemara asks, and the law showing up the Brisa was eh yeah. Now the word eh yeah means it doesn't sound like he's makabal in Aziras, it means he already was makabal in Aziras. The way of being makabal in Aziras is to say, eh hey, I, I, I am a Nazir. Eh yeah in Nazir, it means he already previously um, said that he wanted to be Nazir. So based on that understanding, the Gemara asks on the bottom of Khaftan Ahmed Bez, about five lines from the bottom, Bishlam, the first line is Bishlam. Bishlam, Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Yudah, Damar, Ashi, Giel, Onus, Hadar. He says, right, until 12 years old, the father can make his son a Nazir. Once he gets to Onus and Hadarim, which is 12 years old, and he knows that he's making a Dharim or a Naziris to Hashem, so then the father loses his Roshos over the son, and the son could make his own Naziris. So, Ashi, Giel, Onus, Hadar, 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 Im Katani, Ayeb, Bishol, Abba. If I was a katan, right, he was checking him on to short, make sure he knew who he was making the dharm to. He was making it to Hashem or he's just making it stam. So, meaning if he knew he was making it to Hashem, then he's on us on the dharm. So, so, right, if I have a katan, right, I don't know who I'm making the dharm to, then my father's in the zeros, he accepted the zeros for myself, would work. And if not, then my Naziris that he accepted, he previously accepted the Naziris for himself, at the age of 12 years old, uh, would work. Hello, the Rebbe, according to Rebbe, Damar Shavish Shtei Saras, he says, it doesn't depend on his Dharm, you have to actually be our Mitzvah boy, you have to be 13 years old and have two cubic hairs to be able to accept the Naziris for yourself. And prior to that, the father has Rishus over the son. Vim Godol Ani, the Rebbe, Damar Shavish Shtei Saras, Vim Godol Ani, Ayyeh Bishol Atzmi, what does it mean when he says, if I'm a Godol, I'll be for myself? Haber Shusei, the top of the Lamed of an Aleph. Haber Shusei, the Abu Akayim. He's still in the Rishus of his father, right? Eh, yeah, the Lashon of the Bright says, eh, yeah, right? It sounds like that he's not 13 years old and now he's Makabal and Aziros. He was Makabal and Aziros before the age of 12. That's what we're talking about, the age of 12, right? <coughs> Because he's now 13 years old, right? And he's checking him, and he's saying, hey, "Yeah, I'll be if it if it if I was capable of being a nazir myself, I'll be for myself." Because I said, "Hey," and if not, my father will make it the zeros. But he's 13 years old now, according to Aaron and saying the bright side. He's not saying, "Hey, now that he's 13 years old." So the only chance for him to be a nazir is the nazirus he said when he was 12 years old. So according to Rebbe, you you can't become a nazir. Right? You can't become a Nazir by yourself at the age of 12 until you, the only time is when you're 13 and you have stay sorrow. So Rebbe Shita doesn't make sense according to the Lashon of Ehiyet. Ella, the Gemara says, the Amar Ehei Bishvil Abba, Ehei Bishvil Asmi. We're going to change around the Lashon of the Bryce. He didn't say Ehiyet, he said Ehei. Right? Where he's saying, now I'm a Kabbal in Aziras. Really, he was 13. What was Rebbe Shita checking? He was checking if he had stay sorrows. And he's saying, if Right, I didn't have Shtei Saros, and my then the hey I said before, before 13. Uh, well, he's saying it now. He's saying hey when he's 13. So if he's checking him, he's 13. So if I have Shtei Saros, if I don't have Shtei Saros, then my father's in zero. He accepted from me Eschal. And if I do have two Saros, then hey, then now I'm becoming a Nazir on my own accord. So it's a hey. It's now. It's not from when he was 12 years old. It's now at the age of 13 when he's checking Shtei Saros. Right, according to Rishon Lekutah, he's 12 years old. And he's checking whether he knows who he's making the dharm. According to Rebbe, he's 13 years old and he's checking his Shay Saros and we're changing the Lashon on the Brisa from eh yeah to eh hey. Yeah, I see Shay Saros make Kara Kaim in Zero Zile. Right? If he had Shay Saros, right, by the time he's 13 and he said eh hey, 
So it's so zone to zero. So this, uh, Fine, so that, that's the word. So now the word asks a new question. E I C is the beginning of a new question. E I C stay Saros Mikara, Kaim and Azir's delay. It was so Kaim and Azir's Dabui. Right? If he, at the age of 13 years old, or Leo checked him, if he um, he already had stay Saros, then his Azir's takes effect. If he didn't have stay Saros, then his father's Azir's takes effect. The I C by Mitzi Mai, what happens? If he, let's say, he checked him right at the age of 13, he just turned 13 years old, he checked him, he didn't have Shtei Saros, and 15 days later, in the middle, right, so his father's in zero technically takes effect for him, and he also said a hey for himself, right, and then he checked him. So his father took a zeros for him, he took a zeros, his own zeros, he checked him, he didn't have Shtei Saros at the age of 13, at the age of 13 years old, in 15 days, in the middle of the zeros of his father, he does, right? What should be? According to Rabbi Huda, right, there's no problem over here because once he's 12 years old, right, so it does not depend on Shtei Saros. So his Zeros, his father's Zeros is ineffective. His own Zeros, right, is the one that's effective. He had Shtei Saros in the middle of the Zeros. Right, what happens in there, right? Do you, does he stop his the zeros in the middle of 15 days and go to transfer the, to his own the zeros? What goes on? What do you do? Michael and what are you going to say? Amri, the Rub, the Rebbe, Leika, Takanta, the Yosef, the Levi, Yosef, Dabu. According to Rebbe, technically, if this situation were to happen, he would have to actually sit two terms in the zeros. Right? He'd have to finish the term in the zeros of his father, right? Because when he got Shtei Saros, he was still in the middle of the zeros of his father. He has to complete that 30 days, then bring Carbonos, and because he said a hey, right, and technically within 15 days he didn't get Shtei Saros, so therefore he has to actually take another Naziros for himself after that. So that would be the way of understanding it according to Rebbe. The Mishnah says, We learned previously, we've quoted this Mishnah, that there's instances where a son can actually use the mother, that is, the, the money, that his father set aside for his own Naziris, the Kabanas, the unspecified money that the father set aside for his own Naziris, the father then died, and then the son became another. You can use his money in certain cases. The Mishnah says that only a son can do it, but not a daughter. How does this work? That he can Malayach al Nazir of him. The Hifrish Mo Stumim al Zeruso of Mace. Now, the problem with this Mishnah is the Mishnah seems to contradict um, what we're going to say in Amun Bez, Amun Amun Bez, it also contradicts earlier. Therefore, the Rush and the Art Scroll amend the Brisa, the Mishnah. I'm going to read it, I'll read it according to the emendation because it's much simpler according to that. So let's just go back for a second. It's not Misha Haya Aviv Nazir, it's Misha Yahu Aviv Nazir. It's a case where presently both of them are Nazir already, right? The Hifrish Mos Stumal Ziroso, the father separated unspecified money, Umes, and he died. Amar Rabbiosi, so you skip over the words, he didn't say, Amar Rabbiosi, Nazir of Nashik, Lech, and Ozab, he didn't say that. Amar Rabbiosi, Hare Yiblu Nadava. This case, like we learned earlier, since he was already a Nazir before his father died, so he can't use his father's money. However, Allah Khalil Mashim Sina, he could use, since they're unspecified money, it's people in Adava, he could use the money for Olos for Kate and Mizbeah. Ainzim Galiyah on those Dirz Avi. He's not Galiyah on the Dirz Avi. I'm Rabbi Yossi. Right? Ainzim Galiyah on the Dirz Avi. Ainzim Hushim Galiyah on the Dirz Avi. What's the case where Ainzim Galiyah on the Dirz Avi? So, even though the mission says, Mishahaya. Huvav Nazirim, the change, the rush changed it. Mishahaya Aviv Nazir, his father was simply a Nazir. The Hifrish Aviv Mos Tumim Zeros, his father set aside money, unspecified money for his Zeros. Umes, and then his father died. And then he added in, he says, while I'm becoming a Nazir, I'm going to become a Nazir, and the money that my father left over, I'm going to use for the Karbonas. That actually works. That's the case where it works. So that's the end of the Mishnah. Which makes sense. We're going to see on Amun Bez and also what we learned previously in, in the previous Dabim. So the where it says, 
my time, uh, what's the reason? Now, it's, the Arsh call is a different explanation. I'm going to explain it simply over here. What the word is asking over here is my time. Why could a, a son use his father's money and a daughter not? I'm a Rabbi Yochan, a halacha even as here. It's halacha lo moshe kasina. Technically, there's no reason a daughter can't use it also. But a son, that's halacha moshe kasina, only a son. Pshita. So where it says, it's actually, you don't need halacha lo moshe kasina. Right? It's obvious. My lemeim are the ben yorish dom. The basel's low. Right? Technically, if you have a son and a daughter, who gets the Arusha? The son inherits the father completely. So even according to those the Arusha, without halacha lo moshe kasina, we know that the money left over, the unspecified money, who does it go to? It goes to the son, and he could use it. The daughter doesn't inherit it. She obviously can't use money that doesn't belong to her. So then where's the little streak of the lace like uh, like, like El Abbas? The Chiddush, Allah Hamad Shishinai, even if he only has a daughter, in which case, if you only have a daughter, your daughter inherits too. That's what Ben Oslof taught us. He taught, taught us to know Allah, that if you only have daughters, the daughters inherit you. How the same Yarsh and Gemir you might have thought that the whole whole law is premised about Yerusha, and since in this case the daughters inherit him, right? So they could use the money. Kamashma, no, nonetheless, Allah Sinai, a son, yes, a daughter, no. Kamashma, Allah. some questions over here about about this Gemara. Pligi Rabban Allah, the Rabbi Yossi alone, Pligi. Right, Rabbi Yossi was the opinion of the Mishnah. He was the only opinion of the Mishnah. He's one Tana. What do the rest of the rabbis say? Do they argue on Rabbi Yossi or no? In this law, Pligi, a ratio, a seifa. In what regard do they argue? The Rabbana, do they argue completely on Rabbi Yossi? Maybe they say vice versa, right? We had the Mishnah in two cases. According to the way we amended the Mishnah, right? So if um, the, the, the father and son were in Nazirim at the same time, the son was already a Nazir when the father died, he can't use the money. But if he, his father died first, then he could use the money. So, what do the Rabbanan hold? Do they hold the opposite? Or do they hold maybe in both cases they can use, or maybe in either case you can use? So, it's really three possibilities. Tashma, Ketan Amru, Harish Mikaleach, and Nazir Azavi, Mishaya Aviv Nazir, Abraisa, his father was a Nazir, Hefresh Aviv Mos, and Ziruso, his father set aside money for Nazirus, Umeis, Amar, Hareini Nazir, Amnash Galeach Mosaba, Zerash Galeach Mosab, like Rabbi Yossi in the Mishnah, Rabbi Yossi says, Aval, Mishayahu, Avav, Nazirim. However, the other case where they're both Nazirim, and then the Hifrish Avav most, and his father set aside unspecified money, the Nazirus, so Omeis, and the father died. That's a case where the money cannot be used by the son. David Rabbi Yosef, like we saw in the Mishnah. Now we're going to find the Rabban, Rezer, and Meir, Rabbi Yudah, all the other rabbis who posited an opinion over here. Amru, Zehu, Shemaleach, Mosavim. They say, no, this is the case, meaning this is the case. In the case where simultaneously they were both in the zero, and then his father died after spe- setting aside money, and then the, the son, he's Megaleach, he uses that money for his the completion of his own Naziris. So it seems to me like the Rabbanan argue completely. They say the opposite, the opposite of Riosi, meaning the case where the both in the it works, and with the case where the father was a Nazir, and then he died, it wouldn't work in that case. So it seems they're arguing both the Rasha and the Seifa. <coughs> Boy, Rabba. Rabba has the following question. Right, we learned it's maybe somewhat linked to Rishit Allah. We should see that this thing that a son can use his father's money for his Naziras to complete his own Naziras. Let's say he has two sons. The Mishnah, we're assuming, is only one son. Let's say he has two sons. Maho. And they're both Nazira. Maho. Hilkas al Gemir in law called the Kadam Gala Gala. So, Allah, we should see now that the son can use it. The money of his father. So anyone who goes and finishes his years first, he gets, or, or when he became a Nazir, according to Rabbi Yossi, he says, I'm a Nazir, I'm going to use my father. And then the son, the second son came the next day, the first kid already took it. Oh, Dilma, Yerusha, maybe there is an aspect of Yerusha over here. Oh, pile the heavy. And really, even if the second son came a day later and accepted the years upon himself, he's entitled to half of the money. It's within Yerusha. So he can use half of it, the money for his carbonos, and the first thing, he used half of the money for his carbonos. Boy, Rava, another question. Where does he answer this question? Where does he answer any of the questions? We're going to have to take it at the end. Boy, <laughs> spoiler alert. Boy, Rava, Bechor, Posh, and Mahu. Let's say you have two sons, but one is a Bechor. And the Bechor is Lokeach Pishnayim, right? He gets a double portion in Yerusha. So, Hilkha Sagamir, La, it's Allah, Lashmi Sinai, the Hilkha, 
low body kilu khela fumai the shako um it's a local mushi vicina so therefore there's no difference whether you're whether you're the first born or the second born right it's not exactly i mean it is partly yerusha it's a son but there's no dina yerusha because it's a local mushi vicina uh Odilma, right, even though normally it's an inheritance and you're entitled to two thirds, the first son is two thirds, he gets a double portion, nonetheless, he can't use it for his carbona. So, Dilma, Yerusha, Yibikeh, the Shakal Bishnai, Machim Galeh. Or do we say that that incorporated, encapsulated in this Halachal Mishim Bishnai is also the din of, of, of Bechor? Bechor is the din of Yerusha. So it's also encapsulated in Allah. So two thirds of the money would go to the first sons of zeros, and one third to the second sons of zeros. Bimtim say Lomar Yerusha. Maybe this actually like Dina Yerusha. Ulufum the Shakil Megalea. Uvechun who the Isle Pishnai the Hector Shlo. Or maybe the opposite. Maybe I would say that even though there is an aspect of Yerusha over here, right? Meaning there's two questions over here. First of all, Yerusha. Right, this money was set aside for his father's carbonos. Normally, you only inherit from your father things that actually belong to your father. He set aside this for his own carbonos. So the first question was, in terms of Yerusha, right? Um, the first question was in terms of the carbonos, right? The carbonos, do they split it equally, or maybe, right? The, they split it alpi dina Yerusha, and the guy says no. Maybe here, even if you say it's Yerusha. Yerusha only works by chulim, but by hektish, by hektish, this money were set aside on special money for hektish already. So therefore, even though normally Yerusha would apply over here and he would get two thirds, however, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe there's no Yerusha, right? The, uh, we're assuming the first question is already Yerusha. He's definitely entitled to two thirds. The question is, could he use it for his nazirus or not, right? Do you have to split the money for the nazirus? Can he only use half? Could the first son only use half the money for the zeros, or can he use up to two thirds of the zeros? Now the Gemara is saying maybe the whole concept of Yerusha doesn't apply over here, right? Because the concept of Yerusha and Bechor Pasha, the Bechor gets double portion. That's only by a real Yerusha, by 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 Chulin. But this is Hekdus already; it's already donated to the base of Mikdash, so therefore they split it equally. Chulin did this like Pishna, but Hekdus low. Odilma came at the Kani Le Leglua Loshna Aviv. Loshna, our Sunti was Koneh for Gilua, right? It's Yerusha, we admit it partially, it's possible that it's Yerusha, so therefore he might catch him. He's Koneh, it's Yerusha, and he gets to use two thirds of the money for his Karbonos. Now the Gemara has another question. I don't want the Gemara to answer some of these questions. Nobody knows their Olam, but who knows their style? Let's say, right, we said that normally, according to Rabbi Yossi, Right, they, he, there's a certain instance where he could use his, his father's money, right? His father died first. And according to the Rabbana, it's the opposite, right? He can only use it when they're both in the room together. So what about his father and him have different types than the zeros, right? Aviv knows their stum. He's a regular Nazirus for 30 days. But who knows their olam? The son wants to become a Nazir for the rest of his life. Sorry. Aviv knows their olam. Who knows their stum? His father was, was a Nazir olam. And he wants to take a regular Nazirus. Or Aviv Nazir Stam, or his father was a regular Nazir. But who on Nazir Ali, the son wants to become Nazir Olam. My, Kik Mirin Hilkasab is Stam the Zero, so Dimma Loshna. Maybe this Halakha Moshina, they can use his father's money, only applies when they're both Stam the Zero. But if there's different periods of Nazir, it's one's a Nazir Olam, a different type of Nazir, maybe it doesn't work. Then Tim Say Lomar, the one continues, Haka, Idi, Idi, Nazir is Tyra. Maybe in this case it would work because they're both the same type of Nazir, they're both Nazir and they're taller. For the carbonos for the for the tara at the end of the nazirus. By Ravashi, Aviv knows your tummy, but who knows your tar? Aviv knows your tar, who knows your tummy? Mine. Let's say his father set it aside for when he was tummy, right? His father took a nazirus, became tummy, and set aside money not for the carbonos for tara at the end of the nazirus, but money for to bring the carbonos of tuma for the ashram and the chatas and the ola, the pair of birds and the carbon ashram. He has to bring, and now he, and then his father dies, and he wants to use the money for the completion of his Naziris Batara, right? Now, obviously, there are different things. We have a Chathas Nola. We're only talking about the Chathas Nola, because the Asham, obviously, you can't use for the Asham. There's no Asham at the end of Naziris Tara. But we're talking about the Chathas Nola. 
So, could that be? Or Avram knows your Torah. Who knows your Talmud? Well, let's say his father was using the money, set aside the money for the completion of the Zirzbet Torah, and the son took upon his ears and then became Tommy. Could he use the Olin Chatas, the money for the Olin Chatas, for his own Olin Chatas, for Tuma? My take all these questions unresolved. The Gemara does not have an answer to any of these questions. Hadra Lach Misha Omar. That's the conclusion of today's year. Stay tuned for Ion Ben Sion, where I talk about a very interesting question over here. Um, at the end of the DAF, um, this is presented in Art Scroll footnote number 27. They bring a question from Rabbeinu Todros and Rabbeinu Peres, which just goes on to answer. They're not able to answer this question. The question is as follows. We learned a couple of them ago that when it comes to Korban Chatas, if I set aside money for Korban Chatas, for Dam, for eating blood, and then I eat Chalev, I can't use the money it was for Korban Chatas for Dam, for Korban Chatas for Chalev. So here the Gemara implies that it's only because you're using the money of your father, right? So it's a question. Can I use his, his money was for Nazirah Satara, I'm using it for Nazirah Satsmeya. Or he was using it for the tumor, for the carbonus of tumor. I'm using it for the carbonus of tara. However, the father himself, right, if he set aside money for chatas and ola and shlamim of the tara, and then he became tome, presumably he could use that money for his tumor, for the carbonus of tumor. But how could that be? Because according to the way the art scroll says it, their question, he says, he says, now the chatas for chalim and another tar. Uh, Here, I'll read the article's footnote. The Gemara's query implies... Okay. Rabbeinu Toj Rabbeinu Repertz point out that from the Gemara above, 28a, it emerges that if one, for example, consecrated money for a chatas to atone for eating chalev, he may not use that money to purchase a chatas to atone for consumption of blood. Now, the chatas for chalev and the one for blood are surely less diverse in type than e.g. the chatas for another Torah, the one for another Tommy. So how is it possible that a conversion is permitted in the latter case, but not in the former? They do not propose any solution, but only present an alternative interpretation of the Gemara. They have to switch around the Gemara to answer this question. Now, they, they're assuming that the chatas for Korbanas of Tuma and the chatas for the Korbanas of Tara of Anazir are more different than a, chel, a chatas for Dam and a chatas for Chalev. I think it's pretty obvious to answer this question. I don't know why they couldn't answer this question. They had to, re, they had to amend the, the, the words of the Gemara in order to answer this question. I have a very simple answer. Stay tuned. You have Ben Steele coming up next.